Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell, the global leader in regenerative therapies. Today we're discussing autism stem cell treatment in India, and my team has made a word cloud here of the most frequently asked questions that our providers get during the consultation for discussing autism. So as I answer the question, I'll just erase it, all right? So we'll go through all of them. All right, so let's start at the bottom. One of the questions we get a lot is, will my child reject the stem cells that are administered? The answer is absolutely not. The stem cells that we use are immunologically privileged. That's what scientists call it, because they don't spark up a rejection reaction. In fact, they don't even have the markers on the cells to do that. There's no MHC2 markers. Well, how can we be sure? Well, I would think that after 24,000 procedures, stem cell procedures in the last 10 years, we know for a fact it's not going to happen, all right? So I'm just going to erase that one. That one's been answered. Now, here's one that we get a lot, too, is, well, I read somewhere that stem cell therapy can cause a tumor. And obviously, that's the last thing we would want in a patient. So I've done videos on this, and there's a lot of evidence that mesenchymal stem cells do not cause or exacerbate any tumors. So after 20 years of research on this topic, we know that the mesenchymal stem cells are non-tumorigenic, okay? So you don't have to worry about that. All right, moving along here. What does the success rate look like? And then along with that, how fast do we start seeing results? when it comes to stem cell therapy for ASD. All right, so we've been doing this for quite a while, and we know that 85% of families are extremely happy with the results that they see. Now, what does that mean? Well, we ask families, three months, six months, 12 months, would you do it again? And would you recommend it to friends and families? Eight and a half, 85 out of 100 say yes year after year after year, all right? Now, how quickly will patients, uh, their families start to see results? Usually within four to six weeks, okay? And then it just continues to get better and better for six months or so, and then it usually just baselines after that. Now, another thing that can go along with that is, will I need a repeat treatment for my child? And the answer is, it's up to you. What we've seen over the last decade is that two-thirds of families do opt for at least one repeat procedure, okay? All right, moving along. Now, what are the side effects? Obviously, that's important. The side effects that we've seen with children who undergo stem cell therapy can be a low-grade fever, maybe some nausea, maybe a little bit of a headache, Okay, maybe some dizziness, lightheadedness, or chills, maybe a little itching for an hour or so. Those are the main things that we've seen. Um, we've never seen a deep infection, we've never seen a disease transmission, um, and obviously we've never seen a rejection. So as far as ad uh, significantly adverse side effects, we have not seen that, all right? Okay, uh, let's go to this one. Quality control. We get asked all the time, where do you get the stem cells? All right, the stem cells come from a lab that is GMP, which is the highest grade of a lab, it's pharmaceutical grade, with regards to the reagents, the uh, quality uh, standard operating procedures that are in place. Our labs are ISO certified, okay? So we test rigorously for all types of bacteria, virus, fungus, endotoxin, HIV, hepatitis, syphilis, it's a very lengthy list. I can guarantee you that no lab in the world has higher quality control than ours does. We have patients to take care of, we care about safety more than anything else, so that's the answer to the quality control, okay? Now the quality of the cells, that's obviously important for the outcome. Quality of the cells that we use, uh, we have our PhDs, Mayo Clinic trained, 
they will look and see the quality of the mesenchymal stem cells. Those are the ones that we culture, okay? We call it the IntelliCell because they have all the specific markers for active stem cells. They have lots of colony forming units. We don't culture past the third passage, okay? So these are very, very high quality, safe stem cells that we use, all right? Okay, so let's look at the number of cells. We base the number of stem cells for a child on typically two things, the weight of the child and the severity of ASD, okay? So that may be anywhere from two to five million stem cells per kilogram, all right? So I can't give you a definitive answer in a video like this. Our providers need to evaluate the, the child, uh, you know, on a virtual consultation, get some feedback from the parents about what they're seeing, okay? So that is gonna be customized to um, each child patient, all right? All right, we're getting to it, right? Research. So there's been a lot of research over the years on a, uh, stem cell therapy for ASD. While the FDA has not approved stem cell therapy for ASD, it has been under expanded access out of Duke University for seven years now. So it might as well be approved from that aspect. But people want to know, well, how do we really know that there's research? Well, Duke University's done studies. There's been studies out of Panama, Turkey, other countries. We wrote a guide to stem cell therapy for ASD that we can share with you for free. You can download it off our website, r3stemcell.com, that goes through all of the best research studies around the world, all right? Now, exosomes. We use exosomes with every ASD stem cell therapy. Why? The reason is because exosomes are a great adjuvant to the stem cells for our outcomes. They are byproducts of stem cells. They are 100 times smaller than stem cells, but they work amazingly well as a one-two punch, okay? We love the outcomes we get. We've been doing this for five years with exosomes. So, and we often include them for free. And the last one is the pricing. We're very transparent with our pricing. Um, I've done a whole separate video showcasing the, the pricing. Um, so I really can't you know, go into that at the moment. It would be it's a whole separate video, but just look at the link in the uh, description and we'll show you the whole pricing for the amount of stem cells that patients receive, all right? So visit us online at r3stemcell.com slash India. We'll be happy to set you up with a free consultation to discuss whether your child's a candidate and get you guys scheduled. Thank you very much.